Hallelujah. I will uh, finish this uh, sermon at 15 minutes. Is that okay? Uh, I th- I'm grateful to God. Medyo one pa ako nangatingog. I'm grateful to God for your commitment in this church for attending uh, our Sunday service every Sunday and uh, attending the house churches. I salute you for your commitment. That is uh, very, very important. So, karan nga aga, ang masiling naton, maayogid ang Diyos aton nga kabuhi. Amen? Last week, I got sick. And uh, I saw how I saw myself, or I saw how frail I am. Paano ko nakita, nagmasakit ako, and uh, nakita ko kung ano ako kaluya, that without God, we are all nothing. And uh, like, like in the case ni Paul, he prayed to God three times. But in spite of that, the Lord is, was silent. But the, the reply of the Lord to Paul is this. My grace is sufficient for you. He post lang ang Diyos, but the respond and the reply of God to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. This morning, I'll be speaking about the Lord has not forgotten us. The Lord has not forgotten you. Make it personal. Wala malipat ang Diyos sa imo. Even in the midst of silence, even though sometimes you cannot hear Him, even though sometimes you cannot sense His presence, but the fact remains that God is still there watching over you. He is looking at you very closely and He is saying to us, I have not forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten you. Open your Bible in Isaiah Isaiah 49, verse 15. I'd like to read this in Ilonggo. Ako maintindihan sa kalabana. Isaiah 49, but kindly flash that in the screen sa English. But gusto ko lang basahon sa Isaiah 49, verse 15. Hambal dere. Gani ang ginoo nagsabat, malipat bala ang iloy sa iya ko galingon nga lapsag. Kag indi maghigugma sang bata gikan sa iya na tawo. Bisan ang isa ka iloy, <clears throat> malipat sa iya anak. I'd like to you to underline this in your Bible. Pero, hindi gid ako malipat sa imo. O Jerusalem, hindi gid ako malipat sa imo. Ginmarka ko ang imo ngalan sa akon mga kamot. He engraved your name in his palm. Meaning, God will not forget you. The Lord has not forgotten you. You are always in His mind in spite of what is happening to us. Let's pray. Right now, Lord, we pray that You will speak to us. Anoint me. Sustain me. Help each one of us and we pray for Your power and anointing to move in our midst, Lord. Jesus bless us. And we pray for Your Holy Spirit to minister to us. We pray for your anointing, your healing, your power to manifest in our midst because nothing is impossible with you. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. We want to honor you today. We want to glorify you. This is our prayer. Amen. The Lord has not forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten me in spite of the circumstances. If the Lord seems silent, may mga times nga, gina-istorya mo ang Diyos, hipos ka ng Diyos. And 
you are facing unfavorable circumstances. Having no good breaks. But I want you to believe, in spite of that, that God has not forgotten you. We will go through time that doesn't feel we are making any progress. You're praying, you're asking God, but mabatyagan mo nga daw wala git progreso sa ginapangamuyuan mo. It seems that God went on vacation. Nga daw nagbakasyon ang Diyos. Nga daw gimpabayan ka. Listen to this. Silence. When God is silent, it does not mean that God is not working behind the scene. If God is silent, He is something, doing something behind the scene that you, you cannot see it, but something is happening. It means that He is not changing our circumstances. Don't you know what He is changing? He is changing our character. He is changing our character. Ginabago sa Diyos ang aton batasan. And God uses the season of hipus lang. You cannot, you cannot sense Him in the air. You cannot sense Him in, in the sky or whatever. But God is still there. And still the small voice you can hear. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Sometimes we have the tendency, we have the tendency to compare ourselves to other people. If we are facing situations not favorable with us. We have the tendency to compare ourselves with other people. Some of your friends got married and still you remain single. You work hard and still not promoted. You feel undervalued, overlooked, and forgotten. May mga tao kung isang daw wala ka lang sa ila. Wala ka value. You are not celebrated. But just relax. God is simply hiding you. Because time will come. God will bring you to the open and God will promote you. Don't you know that anything that is valuable, you hide? You don't display anything that is valuable all the time. If you have a diamond, you don't wear your diamond anywhere. You hide it. But there is a situation that you will reveal that diamond, especially in special occasions. Did you get my point? Don't you know that sometimes, and right now, God is simply hiding us because He is preparing us for the greater heights. I believe for promotion. But sometimes we cannot understand the dealings of God. Sometimes we feel frustrated because nothing is happening what you can see in your naked eye. But God is simply hiding us because He wanted to promote us. He wanted to bring us to the higher, to the higher level or to another level because God is so good to each one of us. Amen? So, some of your friends, sometimes kinatulok yung bawa. Ang friends ko, amun na nani sila. Ako, mabakas ako, pero wala ako na-promote. Kung isa, undervalued ako. Pila sa inyo kung isa, nakadto ka mo sa occasion and you are not really valuable and not celebrated. No, wala lang. Kabalo ka mo, 20 years ago, we are not celebrated. But we just relax. You are not being celebrated. Celebrated. God da, does His greatest work in isolation to prepare you. Kabalo ka mo. Si David, ang iya mga utod military, dignified what their work is so dignified, whereas David's work is so menial. Very ordinary work. What is the work of David? 
a shepherd. Ang iya mga utod, soldado. Ato kay Saul, di upod niya si Abinadab, si Eliab, ang mga magulang ni David. Kag-staring sila, frontliner sila, tigas sila, si David, wala git. Ano ginaupra ni David? Ato sa wayang, nagabantay sang karnero. Pero, waay sila kabalo. Ngagin ama na si David, si David, sang Diyos si David, dito sa place of isolation because God knows that someday this little boy will become the king of Israel. Sometimes we cannot understand the dealings of God. Sometimes we feel frustrated. But don't you know, that time will come, listen to this, promotion comes from God and if God will promote you, the devil cannot stop you. So, Bong, just relax. 20 years ago, 25 years ago, ano ang Panay Assembly of God? I'm not here to brag. Who is Pastor Pat 25 years ago? I have nothing. I am nothing. But I learned a lot in times of isolation. It is painful. It is so, very, that is very obscure. You are being isolated. Wala kasang damo ng friends because, listen to this, sa totood lang, bisan kristohanon pa kita, kung wala ka kwarta, wala ka friends. Is that correct? People will look at you. It depends on your economic status. Is that correct? Pero salamat na lang diri sa Panay Assembly of God. Regardless of your economic status, palangga na kung kamutanan, kagpalangga ka muna yung Jesus. So we, we feel undervalued, we overlooked and forgotten. We are not being celebrated. When God does nothing, it does not mean He is not concerned. That is not a sign that God has forgotten you. It is a sign that He is closely, closely watching you night and day because night and day because the Lord, the Lord. The, the, the Lord of Israel watches over you day and night and He never slumber nor sleep. Wala ka katulugan ng ato na Diyos. Kabalo ka mo. Ang isap kapina kalawig nga edad nga pispis sa kalibutan agila. Ang edad sang agila makaabot sa 70 years. Kung alang-alangon ka sa Agila, mauna ka pat patay sa Agila. I'm not kidding. That's true. Amo na classic a species ang Agila. Pero mate, pag abot 40 years ang Agila, dapat may pagbago sa kabuhi niya. Because if he will not discipline himself, the eagle will die and he will just simply waiting that he will die after 40 years. Pero kung kabalo sa sang obrahon niya, mabuhi sa up to 70 years. Kabalo ka mo, pag abot sang 40 years old na ang agila, ang iyang beak nagatiko na na sa and he cannot get the food for himself. Because ang big nagatiko, ang obrahon sa agila, masaka na sa to sa bukid nga din dito ang iya pugaran o ang iya nga lugar. Ilampus siya na sa bato ang big niya agud mawasak. Kay kung mawasak na sa magailis ang tuktok liwat, 
kag makakaon sa ginatawag na sa nga season of isolation sa agila. Pero kung mawasak yan na ang bik niya, kagliwat ang pakpak niya magatubo, ang agila, maka-extend ang life niya up to 70 years or mahulat na lang sa nga mapatay sa. Karun nga aga, don't wait nga mapatay na lang kita. We will soar wings like an eagle. That's why in times of painful experience, Just relax, because God is doing something behind the scene. It is painful. Sometimes you cry. Sometimes you have the tendency to surrender and quit. But don't ever try and don't ever dare to quit and stop, because new life is waiting for you. New success is waiting for you. New favor and prosperity is waiting for you. Palakpakan natin si Jesus. Tell the person next to you, the Lord has not forgotten you. Wala nalipat ang Diyos sa akon. Wala man sa nalipat sa inyo. Ara ka mo sa utok sa Diyos. Kabalo ka mo sa times nga masakit ang ginaagyan ko. Amo ng tsimpo nga nagapamati ko sa Diyos. Pero may tinion nga hindi ko kabati siya. But I keep on pushing myself to God and pursuing the presence of God. Because if I can overcome this situation, the pain that I have right now, the pain that I have, The test that I have right now, it will become a testimony tomorrow. And the pain that I have right now, it will become the passion of my life tomorrow. Nga naagyan ko ni, masarangan ta ni, karun nga aga kung may mga pag-antos ka mo, gusto ko iambal sa inyo, masarangan nyo na. Why? Because the Lord has not forgotten you. Point number one. You need to pass the test of obscurity. Like a flash screen. You are being obscure. Pastor, ano na sabot si Lingon? Sa tinion, nga daw wala kabili. You need to pass that. You need to pass that test that you you feel useless. You are You feel insignificant. You feel unimportant. That's the meaning of obscurity, insignificance and unimportance. In 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 13. 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 13. Okay, ha? Oh, si Pastor Aquiles, mabasa. Basa. Okay. <coughs> Basta. Sige ako basa para sa inyo. <laughs> okay. You acted foolishly. Someone said, you have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had He would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. Okay. Sino yung ginambalan? Si, si Saul. Anong damabala? For the first king of Israel was Saul. Pero ano hamba sa Bible? Saul, you have, you acted foolishly, Samuel said. You have not kept the command of the Lord your God gave you. If you had, He would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. Sangin anoint ni Samuel si David. Listen to this. Because David was anointed to be king, spoken to the prophet Samuel. 
but David, but David, I mean, but David didn't go straight to the throne. Sang kinambalan sa siya magharik ka. Ano dayon? Pungko dayon si David sa trono, hindi? Malawig pa. God hid him. Gintago pa sa San Dios, gindihon pa sa San Dios. He went back after Samuel told him, he went back to the shepherd's field. Nagbantay sa kardero. Taking care of the sheep of his father. And that was a very obscure place. Isa lang to si David sa pat, sa sa wayang nagabantay sa karnero samtang ang iyang mga utod ng mga soldado ato sa patag awayan kag si si, si David ato dito ka very hilikayan nga trabaho not dignified work sa, His brothers were in the military, so dignified while David was in the shepherd's field. God is hiding you. Write this down. God is hiding you because you are precious. Kung may mga rilo ka mong malahalon sa inyo balay, alahas, wala nyo na sa ginabutang-butang lang, biskandiin. May talaguan ikaw. Tama. Ngaman, ginatago kita sang Diyos for a while because you are precious in the eyes of God. Because God has put a potential in your life. He invested So much potential in your life. Sige niya, protectionan ko niya because this guy is precious to me. You hide anything that is valuable and precious. You are using only, you are using it only during special occasion. Na-notice niyo kung may mga kasal, gaguluwa na yun ang inyong mga alahas. Is that correct? Ano, pila sa inyo ka pangisda, gasokso ka mo, bulawan. Mas nang tanadali, kamo maarado kita, isoksok ang aton perlas. Or maarado kita, soksoka ang aton diamante. Hindi pala ginasoksok lang for special occasion because that is so special and precious. Kabalo ka mo nga man, precious ka mo, kay gamiton ka mo sa Diyos sa very special way na paggamit sa ginawa palakpakan natin si Jesus. So, karon nga aga, don't compare yourself with other people. Why? Because God's purpose in your life is not the same as theirs. Hindi ka ma- mag-compare sa ngayon ko galingon. Kaya nga man, ang tinutuyo sa Diyos sa imo kabuhi, lain man niya sa saiban. I want you to fight your own battle. Don't fight others' battle. Fight your own battle. Kagnamian ko kay David sa Bible, David was not insecure because God will promote him in due time. Kabalo si David. Tapos siya, kamo lang to away. Di lang ko sa karniro ni tatay. Pero kabalo ko. Siguro ang bali David. Maabot ang tiyempo. Bayawon ko sa Diyos ko. Because God opposes the proud but He gives grace to the humble. Paubos ka kay bayawon ka. Relax lang. Hindi lang pag ikumpara para may mukugalingon sa iba. Ma-frustrate ka daw. 
ma-frustrate ka, sige niyo compare mga babae ang inyo itsura kay Bia Alonso. Ma-frustrate ka mo, sige niyo compare mga lalaki itsura niyo kay Coco Martin. Biskan sa kuko, hindi ka mo magpareho. So, don't, don't compare yourself. Sige lang, because you are unique. You are special. There is no another you. Wala na isang iban. So, ang muna nga ang ko. Relax lang ko diya sa pandaya. Kalma lang ko ya. Ambal ko. Ang muna nga nila, let the success make the noise. Don't just shout to the world. But let your success make the news, make the noise. Kung nagtigas ka giman niya, ambis ka hindi ka pa magsiyagit, masiyagit kinang imo ka dalagaan mo. Hindi, kinang iba tago. Pero kung sige mo gid nga siyagit, nga wala ka pa gani nagdaog, basi mahuyaan ka pa. So, advice ko karun nga aga sa inyo, stay focused on your calling, the more you compare, the more you will be frustrated. Stay focused on your calling. Because the Lord has not forgotten you. Number two. Number two. You must overcome the stage of insecurity. Number one, obscurity. Number two, insecurity. Insecurity, it means anxiety, uncertainty, self-doubt. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, 1 to 3, medyo lawig na nang verse basahon. Pero tilawan ko lang be. Okay. The Lord say, say to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul? Since I have rejected him as a king over Israel, fill your horn with oil. Uh, be on your way. I am sending you to G.C. of Bethlehem. I have to send one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, How can I go? Saul will hear about it and kill me. The Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite G.C. to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Okay, ano? Next pa. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at the Bethlehem, the elders of the own trembled when they met him. They asked, Do you come in peace? <laughs> Samuel replied, Yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated sons and invited them to the sacrifice. Okay. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eli, 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 Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance of his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Next. Next again? Okay. Then... <laughs> Then G.C. called Abinadad and had him pass in the front of Samuel. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. G.C. then had Shomah pass by. But Samuel said, Nor has the Lord chosen the one. G.C. had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, The Lord has not chosen this. He has Jesse, are these all the sons you have? 
there is still the youngest. Jesus answered, but he is tending the sheep. Dahil lang, dahil lang. May isa pa ko, no? Gabante ka, Nero. Nag-agi na mga gwapon. Siya, hindi na sila. Siya, may bata ka pa? Siya, o, may apa? Ano, Braya? Ito, nag-abante ka, Nero. Mabaw-baw pa ito ipot. Sige, pada yan. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. Ikaw, biba. So he sent and had him brought in. He was ruddy, with a fine appearance and handsome features. Apo. Wow. Then the Lord said, "Rise and anoint him. He is the one." Si David na sa palakpakan nato si Jesus. So verse thirteen, pakibasa. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David in power. Samuel then, then went to Ramah. Grabe na. Kung gisa, ang tawo amuni, lantawon tayo na aton, porma, halin sa piil, paibabaw, tapos, lantawang tayo ng hemostatos. Daw, hindi ni amo, basen Diyos. Sa uli, may kimpangita, pagit si Samuel, siya, may bata pa ka? Siya, may harap pa. Kaya mas ang Bible, God looks at the heart and not the outward appearance of man. Ang kinalantaw sa Diyos, ang tagipusoon, hindi ang guha. Ano abi kung guapo na imo heart guapo ka pa sa gua? Si David amo to. Amo na habali lang uh, beautiful inside and out. Pero ato ya si David handsome inside and out. So may mga tao nga guapo pero ang batasan law ay. May mga tao nga hindi taman ka guapo pero nami ang batasan. Kabalo ka mo nga ang itsura subong pwede na mabago. Mm. Yeah. Pero ang batasan, espirito. Mm. Yeah. Budlay baguhon ang, ang batasan. Mm. Dapat mabago kita from the inside out. So, karun nga aga, si David, hindi siya insecure. Those years that nobody, nobody knows David, kita mo ang gimpauna, si Abinadab, si Shema, mga magulang ni, mga army ni. Si David, why get it to ya? He is undervalued, forgotten. Those were very important years. Kaginatawag ito nga proving years. Dito ginprobe si David sa samuto ng mga tinuig. Years that he wanted to probe that God, that to probe God, that He is faithful. Nga si David, na pamatudaan niya sa Diyos, na matutom siya sa iya Diyos. In times ng isolation, he draws closer to God. When you are weak, you feel, you feel sometimes insecure. But listen to this, ang balip Paul, when I am weak, then I am louder. When I am weak, I am strong. This is the last now. Number one, obscurity. You need to pass the test of insecurity. Number three, this is very important. You must pursue the place of opportunity. Opportunity. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26. And then, halinon ta lang, verse 17, verse 25 to 26. Now, Israelite had been saying, Do you see how this man keeps coming out? He comes out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to the man who kills him. He will also give him his daughter in marriage and will accept his father's family for taxes in Israel. David asked the man, man standing near him, 
what will be done for the man who kills this Palestine and removes his dis and this disgrace from Israel? Who is this uncircumcised Palestine that he should defy the armies of the living God? All right. Ari na oportunidad. Just relax. Don't feel insecure. Just trust in the Lord and trust Him in times of isolation, in times of obscurity, because there is what we call opportunity. May inaway. For 40 days kasi niyagit ang Philistines. Sa diin na kamo, guwa ka mo da, ama ka perdis ako, amo na ima. Kung maperde ako ang baligulayat, subject kami ninyo. Pero kung maperde ka mo, subject namon ka mo. Ingkulbaan ng mga Israelites. Pero nag-abot ng adlaw sa oportunidad ni David na makilala sa kung sino siya. As I said a while ago, promotion does not come from the east, west, north, and south. Promotion comes from the Lord. Promotion comes from the Lord. If God will promote you, nobody could, could, cannot, could stop you. Even the devil cannot stop your promotion. Even demons cannot stop your promotion. Because it is the Lord who promotes you. Siya ang mabulig sa aton. So, karon nga we need to pursue this opportunity because the Lord has not forgotten you. He has prepared something for you to glorify His name, to promote you, to bless you, to give you abundance, to give you success, to give you favor. Amoni ang handom sa gino. Karong agaw, we need to pursue the place of opportunity. Wala, kasi may nagbato. Sino lang nagbato? Si David. Sige, ano ang akong makuha? Akong batuan ko ni sa? Sige, tagaan ka sa dako ng manggad. Ang makapatay na sa iya, tagaan sa dako ng manggad. Ang bata ni Saul, maasawa mo. Ang imo pamilya, libre sa tanan ng buwis. Ang bali, David, kung amuna, ako mabato. Ang sa mga uto niya, palakpala ka, pahigada, bata ka pa. Ang bali, David, no, no, no. This is now the time for me. This is the opportunity for me. Karon nga ka, kung updan mo ang Diyos, ang upod mo ang Diyos, once ara ang opportunity, i-grab na because God will promote you. Will promote you and He will bless you. Karon nga ka, let's all stand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put this in your mind. The Lord has not forgotten you. Thanks for being a part the of Lord our YouTube channel. You. We put new video here every week to keep you inspired and encouraged. When you subscribe to our channel, what it helps Christ to get hope and good news of the gospel of God around the world. You've been impacted by our ministry? Let us know in the comments your below and share this channel same. with your family, your family and friends. Will never be the same. Thank you and God bless us all. Ang